What's going on guys, Local John 1812 or John Geary, depending on how you know me. I'm here with an important message that just became revelation to me when I was on a uh, elliptical at the YMCA listening to the Bible app that I had that had Revelations uh, playing and it was into Revelations chapter 3 and there's some important parts in there about uh, Christ saying he's coming back quickly and that type of stuff but there was a particular area that we're going to listen to right now that really, really spoke to me. And while we get ready to listen to that, if you don't mind, go ahead to hit the like button, subscribe button, comment down below what you think about this video after you've watched it, and share us out. I'd greatly appreciate it, and it'd be a, do a lot of great service to others who may not be able to find this channel or find this video. Maybe this will speak to them and help them as well. All right, let's go ahead and listen. This is from Revelations chapter 3, verse 15 through 22, I believe, and this is where it spoke to me today, just on elliptical, and that's how God works sometimes, it's how Christ works in your life, the Holy Spirit, it would just, it just hit me and it said, hey, write this down, talk to about others, they need to hear it. Let's hear it. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth, because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. That was powerful today. I was on that treadmill and it got to that part uh, in the Revelation chapter 3. Verse 15. Now, I've heard the scripture before, and I remember in the King James Version, it will often say, spew you out my mouth. I rather, essentially, I, I look at it as I rather you be, uh, I rather you not be lukewarm. You know, I rather you be either for me or against me, essentially. You know, God doesn't want people, uh, Christ doesn't want people riding the fence and uh, putting their toe halfway in and saying, oh, I believe, but. I'm not going to do anything with my works. Well, I don't have to have works. I just have to have beliefs. You know, we a lot of Christians and denominations get kind of confused on that. Um, you know, in certain scriptures, it tells us that, you know, faith without works is dead, right? And I think if you determine yourself that you need only works and only the works can get you to that faith, then we understand that that's incorrect as well. Understanding that if you were to truly accept Christ as your personal Savior, which I hope you all have, and I hope you all will, then you would desire and want to do good works. So it goes hand in hand. It, it would not matter one or the other uh, as far as which one's better or anything of that nature. Obviously, accepting Christ and what Christ has done for you is the top, right? That's That's it. But you can't be lukewarm with it. You can't be, oh, I've accepted Christ, so I can still run out and do these things and these things and these things. In that book of Revelations, in that chapter 3, it speaks, I believe at least once I remember hearing that I come quickly. I've come like in a thief in the night. Christ is coming back. His second coming will occur. The final coming of Christ coming back to rapture up his people. And I know I want to be a part of that, which I believe I am. I hope you are. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, the meaning, I looked this up on uh, Google and I'll, I'll pop it up right here. It says, nothing escapes Jesus' attention. 
he tells the Lucidius church in this verse that he knows its condition. He says it's neither cold nor hot, although he would prefer that it was one or the other. This condemnation of lukewarm faith carries dire consequences. There are so many people that will go to the end of this earth and God will come back. And Christ will retake his people. And they will go to God and say, I love you. I said I loved you. I'm here. And he'll say, depart from me. I've never known you. Or I know not of you. And the reason why that is, is because some people say they're saved. Some people say they have a relationship with Christ. But they don't live as such. And they really don't put Christ as the main focus in their life. With my life, I've even been guilty of that. And I hope to change that as I continue my journey with Christ. I think I have gotten better at it. I think that's because even now as I work out, I hear instead of music, I'm playing, you know, Bible app and listening and learning. Um, I found this book. We got it at an auction. It was Exploring Bible Prophecies. Uh, you know Tim Lay, uh, Tim LaHaye, and Ed Henderson. Henderson, uh, these guys I think have passed away. But this book, I'm going to read some of that, especially in the back area, back area by Revelations. We got so much stuff going on with Israel and the world in general that I urge you all to get into a uh, Bible teaching church with a good spirit and worship God correctly and learn to read and understand your Bible. And try to understand. I know it's hard sometimes. There's certain words I mispronounce all the time and all that. But God has put that fear past me and said, just open yourself up. Talk to others about God and allow him to work in your life just like he's trying to work in theirs. And he can do that by working through you as being a light unto them and unto the world. I pray for everyone out there dealing with all the stuff around the world uh, any wars that are going on in any areas, I pray for all of it. And I pray for even the wars right here in our own United States of America and out there in your own homes and even what I'm dealing with in your churches and everyone. And just remember, even in this passage of chapter 3, verse 15, where it talks about he'd rather you be hot or cold than lukewarm. And there's there's dire consequences for having a faith like that. But behold... Later on, as we heard in the text being read to us, we see here that it says in chapter uh, 3, Revelation still, verse 20, as we heard earlier, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. God's going to be there for you. Christ is there for you. He's knocking now. With everything going on in the world and everything in your life, God is knocking. God was knocking today when I was on that treadmill. He says, let others hear. Help them as I help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Let's pray and we're going to get on out of here. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time to come. As I get ready to continue my journey with you, Christ, and in my life, I do realize that even my outside activities away from the church and within my scripture readings and, and studying are different from what you are teaching or doing. And I must still be that light even in those situations. Tonight, Lord, I know I will be going to do one of my wrestling events and I will put on a costume, an act, a character. But that character cannot have flaws. That character needs to be an outstanding character that has still some type of representation of you leading my life. I should not allow any of those other uh, uh, circumstances to affect what you're trying to do with me. As I looked throughout the world today, God, and I saw different things at the store for Halloween and costumes, I realized people will put on those costumes and they will go out and, and they will collect candy, which is a fun event for families to do. But I dug deep into that once I really started to focus when I was on that treadmill and reading in the book of Revelations. How many of us are wearing a costume. When we talk about our own faith with you. How many of us are not living correctly. As we should. 
but still pretend we are. Lord, I pray for the strength to change that in myself and others, even the ones who believe, oh, I'm not doing that, I'm fine. Even those, Lord, reach them to make them understand and to help them understand that they need you from every step of the walk of their day and life. Lord, I love you so much. Thank you for the opportunity for us to be able to repent for our sins as we should. And if you are knocking, which we know you are, please let the ones that hear this open the door and let you in. We give you all the praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, everyone. There's no air left to breathe. I'm drowning. Vultures are circling me. Around it. I need to fight. I know it's just so hard to let it go. Shine a light I can see Something I can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you keep on forgiving